Good afternoon. My name is Ron Bergio. I'm the senior pastor of Lovejoy Church in Buffalo, New York. And I was thinking I'd like to do a two-part series on myth or fact. Often talking to different people, uh, they will mention to me that isn't Christianity just another myth? And I'd like to uh, explain that to you this afternoon, how this all came about, uh, that reading the scriptures, I saw that it does talk about myth or mythology. And I want to just read you a scripture from 2 Timothy 4, 1 through 5. Paul says to Timothy, I charge you in the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who is to judge the living and the dead, and by his appearing and his kingdom, preach the word, be ready in season and out of season, reprove, rebuke, and exhort with complete patience and teaching. For the time is coming when people will not endure sound teaching, but having itching ears, they will accumulate for themselves teachers to suit their own passions or desires, and will turn away from listening to the truth and wander off into myths. As for you, always be sober-minded, endure suffering, do the work of an evangelist, fulfill your ministry. I want to fulfill my ministry today. It says in verse 4, They will turn away from listening to the truth and wander off into myths, or, and turn aside the myths and fables. It talks about in the end days, and this is written uh, up 2,000 years ago, people will weary and tire, be tired of the plain gospel and turn into myths and legends. They'll get tired of just hearing about the gospel, that Christ came to save. And they want to go turn to some more exciting things that they think are more pertinent for them or more intellectual for them at this time. Let's talk about the truth about Jesus. Let's first look at the definition of a myth. Myth is an unfounded or false notion. A person or thing leaving, having only an imaginary existence, like the Superman myth and the unicorn myth. A person or thing existing only in the imagination, a popular belief that is not true. Mythology is the study of myths, and mythology is man seeking after God. Christianity is God seeking after man. Mythology is fun and interesting, but all of its stories are made up by man. At one point in my life, I loved mythology. I loved studying about the different gods and the different things that were happening uh, supposedly in the world. But, you know, I came to the realization at one point in my life that Christ Jesus is the answer to all of that. C.S. Lewis was a professor of med medieval and Renaissance literature at Cambridge University in Oxford. He loved, studied, and taught mythology and epic poetry. Before he became a Christian, C.S. Lewis strongly hoped Christianity was just another myth. He hoped it was not true. Why? Because if Christianity was true, Lewis knew it, demanded, it would demand a change in him. The Apostle Peter encourages us to have accurate knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. It says in 2 Peter 1.8, For if these things, virtue, self-control, love, etc., are yours and abound, you will neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. We gain virtue and knowledge by examining the Word of God. The Word of God reveals the truth about Jesus, enabling us to separate myth from fact. Many people would say God is only transcendent, that he is surpassing or extending beyond the limits of ordinary experience. That's what transcendence means. They say he is otherworldly and beyond comprehension. But in Jesus Christ, God became imminent. He comes within the limits of possible experience and knowledge. This is the John 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him nothing was made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the word became flesh, that is, became a human being, and dwelt among us, 
and we beheld his glory, the glory of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Christ, Jesus Christ, is the fulfillment of man's myths. The idea that Christ is the fulfillment of the myths that thread throughout history rings loud and clear and often in Lewis's works. In his book, Miracles, Lewis presents the incarnation as the greatest of all signs of God. What is meant by God becoming a human being? The Word became flesh. Christ, the eternal Logos, who is God, came to earth as man. Yet in doing so, he did not merely appear like a man, he became one. It tells us that in Philippians chapter 2. Humanity was added to Christ's deity. The Word became should be understood as took to himself or arrived on the scene as Colossians 1:15 Christ is the invisible is the visible image of the invisible God he extended before any existed before anything was created existed before anything was created and is supreme over all creation Jesus Christ is the fulfillment of every myth that ever was and I'm just going to ask God's blessing upon you. And look again, yeah, because I'm going to do part two of this series.